your special attention as we have a uh, next uh, special speaker up. We shall now invite James there to say a few words of encouragement for the couple. Let us give him a round of applause. I can't stand behind the roster because I'm too short. Uh, good evening, everyone. Can you back hear me? Tajia, Wansan, Hao. My dear relatives, my dear friends, Jeremy and Sisa's friends, Jeremy's parents, relatives, and friends, everybody here. Thank you very, very much for coming here tonight to attend my son's wedding and to share in our joy and our celebration. I'd like to thank God for blessing us tonight with so much joy and so much love. Of course, I must not forget to thank my beautiful wife, Juliana. The person who works 200% in the background looking into every detail of this great occasion. She is uh, she's very relieved now. And uh, this is a rare occasion I see her so beautiful in a new Sarum Kabaya. But tonight is not for me and my wife. Tonight belongs to my son Jeremy and to his newly wedded wife, Frieza. So let me talk a little bit about them. <laughs> now let me, let me begin by giving them a, a really very big congratulations for bringing this great celebration together. I knew they started planning this two or three years ago already. Okay. Uh, I'm honestly very deeply impressed, very thankful and actually very proud of all this meticulous planning that they have put into this uh, putting this a big uh, once in a lifetime matrimony together. Congratulations. Okay. I think uh, the church wedding was the best I ever attended. Okay. The, the lunch reception, the photo, the video, everything was wonderful. You know? And honestly, I was very surprised. In fact, I'm also very jealous that you know they make a special pre-wedding trip ending up in Rome and meeting the Pope face to face at the Vatican St. Peter's Square. Huh? I think the crowd okay. Okay, the in your full wedding gown, hugging the Pope. You know? I think, wonderful job. Congratulations again. Okay? Okay, so, son, you are, you are now married, you know, and uh, thinking back, actually, you had a good time growing up. So, so tonight, I'd like to share some of my deeply rooted memories of him, especially when he was very young. Don't worry, son, I'm not going to embarrass you. <laughs> I, I need to keep my friends over there entertained, you know. And, and uh, maybe something new for, for Teresa to hear also. Okay? So, so let me start right from the beginning when he was born. The year was uh, 1985. Okay, that year, Singapore just got off a deep recession and the first MRT line was being built. Okay? If Jeremy conceived, my great wife and me took a very big risk. We left our cushy corporate job and decided to start a small business together in construction equipment. Uh, my first office, if my wife remember, was a table at the back of a flower shop. That's how we started. Okay, so that fateful day when Jeremy was born, you know, I actually have something going in my mind. Actually, that year, I have two babies. One, my son, and the other one, my new business. 
both very demanding, but both always interfering with each other. You know? So the night when uh, the day when Jeremy was was uh, to be delivered, I drove my wife to I think Mount Albania Hospital. There, I think she laboured for several hours, but Jeremy just refused to come up. <laughs> and then my poor pager was ringing all the time. You know, in those days we don't have handphones, only pages. Okay? And uh, I knew something was urgently looking for me, but I couldn't leave my laboring wife, you know. Luckily, the doctor in the end gave up and decided to take Jeremy out by force by cesarean birth. So, so I had a two to three hours window, you know. My wife looked at me, I looked at my wife, we both understood and she just raised me, go, 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 go. So, I rushed off to attend to my business, hoping to get back fast enough. But you know, I was a one-man show at that time, you know. So, one thing lead to the other. By the time I got back to the hospital, my wife had already delivered, back in the room, you know. So what can I do? So son, when you came into this world, my first look at you was from the glass window of the incubator room. <laughs> That's life. Okay? We, we worked very hard to, to survive and to provide because we love you. And of course, I your sister. And uh, we only want the very best for you. <laughs> so, so as, uh, as we worked very long hours, Jeremy was actually left to the care of my parent-in-law and uh, the Filipino me, Jeremy. Uh, you remember your grandfather fetching you from school every day? And you remember your, your mana, Fina? She, she came up from the Philippines to work for us after she gave birth to her twin sons. But she never saw the two sons growing up. Instead, she took care of you from when you were born until you were 20 years old. 20 years! She took care of you and later on the sister. So, I, I, I never objected when she referred to you as my son in the SMS, in the WhatsApp, in the whatever, you know. Son, don't forget her, she's part family, you know, and a part of you is more than her. Singapore celebrated SG 15 and the whole Catholic community in Singapore had a big do in the indoor stadium celebrating also SG 15 you know? and uh, Jeremy was part of the organizing committee okay? but I was very proud when he came on stage to lead the worship and the singing okay? because singing and God are two of the great memories I have of Jeremy singing, you know. He started singing when he was in the kindergarten. The only difference is he is very serious about singing. You know? I remember when I was uh, when he was uh, eight to nine years old, whenever we go out together as a family in the car, me driving, he is always sitting in front, and mom and uh, little sister at the back. The reason why he sat in front is because he monopolized the CD player. You know? He will play his own young pop music and not only play, he will sing along very loudly with it. And a big difference, he never allowed any one of us to sing. Only he can sing, no one else can sing. Not even the chorus, not even army, you know. And we, we, me and my wife, we were foreign to his genre of music, you know. But he literally found it into us. Until my little sister, her little sister, I think she was about five at that time. She even knew the song. But the moment she came in, Jeremy would make a big fuss of her. So, yeah, the group, you know, the group. Michael learns to rock, yeah. He first Michael learns to rock in class. You know, and and your, your, your favorite song is like, like Sleeping Child, 25.